earlier today, the 16th largest bank in America, which if you were a Canadian, doesn't sound like that, that would be not that big. big of a deal <laughs> because here in Canada, we only have like four banks. We're also smaller than California in regards to population. Yeah. So it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be a huge deal here in America, 16th largest bank. Uh, what? Okay, so they suffered a good old-fashioned 1930s-style bank run, and the tents of its Wikipedia page yeah. went from is to was. <laughs> there was some indication earlier this week that the bank might not have sufficient liquid assets. Uh, the stock price of its parent company dropped suddenly. Venture capitalists advised their clients to withdraw funds, and those clients rushed to get out what they could until regulators stepped in. This is the largest American bank collapse since the 2008 financial crisis. Now, here's the thing. Under normal circumstances, we wouldn't really be reporting on a bank failure in the U.S. because it's kind of a big deal, but it's not really tech. Yeah. Except that SVB stands for Silicon Valley Bank. So let's, um, <sighs> let's talk about that. The liquidity issues that they suffered were heavily exacerbated by inflation, interest hikes, and the overall weakness of... Here it comes. The tech markets, as SVB specialized in lending to tech startups, and most depositors were tech workers and VC-backed companies. Much of the bank's deposits, and this is wild, were uninsured. Now, this is not in our notes, so you guys will have to forgive me if I've got the exact details wrong, but my understanding is that deposits were insured up to a maximum of $250,000. I believe so. Now, this is something that is, you know, from a, I would say from an individual standpoint, very much a first world problem. Um, but most banks that I'm aware of do, in fact, have a limit to how much your balance can be before it just goes beyond what their insurance will cover. And in the event of a bank run or insolvency or other kind of, hey, poof, the money's gone event, it is simply not covered. It is irrecoverable. So there's so the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation or FDIC.gov says that standard deposit insurance amount is 250k per depositor per insured bank for each account ownership category. So 250k is insured by government. So, the companies on company scale, yes, 250k. I was getting to that. is small. From from an individual smaller. standpoint, right? Lots. Oh, I'm sorry. Your two hundred fifty-one thousand dollars is not fully covered in your bank account. Boo hoo hoo! Cry me a river. So two hundred fifty k. You're a person. Whatever. That's tons of money. That's a lot of money to tons have in the bank. Money. But let me tell you something. From a business standpoint, look around you. Okay. Right. Do the math. How many people work here? I think we're over a hundred now. We're um, close to it. Does anyone know what like minimum wage is here? In B, we don't pay minimum wage. I know, but like I'm doing In like BC? A, I think yeah. it's like fourteen. Let me look it up. Okay, okay. So we've got a hundred people. Okay. Fifteen sixty-five per hour times. So let's assume that we paid minimum wage, which we don't. Okay, so that would be uh, one thousand five hundred and sixty-five dollars per hour. Uh, what does that work out to in a work week? Let's say everyone was working 40 hours. We have, we have full-time employees. We're just doing this math live here. That would be $62,600 per work week, which is only half of a pay period. So times two. Assuming, assuming that we paid minimum wage, which again, we do we not, don't. That would be $125,000 per pay period. Not including all other expenses. Not including all other expenses. Not including the fact that we, no, in fact, do not pay anyone here minimum wage. Not including the fact that you should have more than one freaking pay period yeah. in your bank account at a time. Yeah. So in the event that our company, say, were to experience an event like this, where right now, Anyone with their deposits in SVB, if they didn't get them out already, and even if they did get them out, if they sent, if they, if they withdrew money via a wire, like they sent out a wire, there is no guarantee 
Now that the bank has, my understanding is it's simply been seized by the federal government or something like that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so sorry for any little details here, but effectively its assets are under control by a third party now. If that money simply does not come out, it's gone. Um, now, there is some, so, so, right, so if that were to happen here, we would just be out whatever was in that float account and given At least temporarily when you have bills to pay and salaries to fulfill exactly like because yeah. if you factor in that this is a bank that specializes in startups where they are theoretically putting their vc raised money that they are running off of this is these, this these are is highly operational funds. Yeah, this is wild. This could be this could be even if even a, a profitable company. Okay, we are a profitable company. But if you took our operating capital and just even if you didn't eliminate it, if you froze it indefinitely, how do we run? Yeah. How do I pay for whatever services you're logged in float plane? How do I how do I pay the bill? How do I pay you? How do I how do I pay that guy? <laughs> right? Look how sad he would be if no. he didn't get any money. <laughs> this is this is wild. Um and you know what? It's it's one of those things where it's something that Yvonne and I have actually talked about. In Canada, the banking industry is fairly well regulated, pretty solid. During we 2008, we kind of survived stuff like that. We were pretty steady up here. Um, but I can tell you guys from my own research that the limit, so we used to bank with a credit union specifically because there was no, um, government imposed limit on how much they could insure. That was, that was the reason we did it. So we could have a million dollars or $2 million or $3 million sitting in the bank as our, as our operating funds or to cover our upcoming deposits or expenses for merch or whatever else it is. We could have that sitting there knowing that in the event that something went catastrophically wrong, it would be covered by insurance and we would get it back. But that actually changed, I think about a year ago. Oh. It was in the last year or two. I know that for sure. Um, and so I got to be honest with you you um we ha we are pretty much in the same situation if, oh just but but not with with not so if this happened to the bank that you're with and so reading about this as a business terrifying. owner is absolutely terrifying it's petrifying yeah I, I would i would basically roll into the office and just like i just sit there what what can i do how do you run a business with no capital and now it is possible that uh, uh, that a sale of SVB and its and its assets and its liabilities presumably um, could be negotiated, but I pretty much promise you that whatever those um, what, whatever cash it owes, if you get anything back from it, it's going to be less than a hundred percent. Like they're going to yeah. negotiate some reduced payout, and you don't know which part of the queue you're going to be in in regards to people that get their money first so like yeah yeah that well that was a whole thing that happened uh NCIX. that we saw with the ncix yeah. bankruptcy yeah. where depending on where you were in the chain of creditors yeah even if they extracted any money from the from the shareholders who turned tail and ran away it was never going to make and, it and like the, to you. the lawyers or whatever hold co is currently dealing with the sale and stuff they're going to want their cut too yeah like, yeah they get paid no matter what paid which first. is really interesting to yeah, me yeah yeah so like there's some there's some funky stuff it's it's going to be interesting yeah top gear uh, 1224 says 100 percent honest this is why companies use stocks as bank accounts not just stocks so i was recently made aware of something called a land bank land bank yeah, yeah. uh so here in vancouver where real estate generally does one thing it goes like this though not necessarily the case lately as um some of the folks here who have been who have been on the market can attest to and also i can attest to as someone who bought at the peak uh the lab I, I get reports from our commercial realtor every once in a while prices are going down it's exciting i'm sitting here going yeah that doesn't help my mortgage brah uh, anyway uh where was i going right uh the concept of a land bank is that you just buy land because cash 
like, okay. This is something that Yvonne and I were talking about recently. The concept of like investments being risky, right? Investments carry an inherent risk. So buying something like the lab, something that an investment Everything that has gone down, right? <laughs> um, an yeah, investment yeah. carries risk. And it's like, yes, that's true. But literally every asset class can be seen as an investment on some level. Yeah. Like here, here's something interesting. Did you know that the Canadian dollar has lost five cents to the US dollar in the last three weeks? I know that because I saw it on your screen, but right. Yeah. So the mere act of having cash in the bank not invested is an investment. A good one? Well, with inflation being what it is, I would say no, but it is certainly an investment. So yeah. so this is where the concept of a land bank was introduced to me, where it was kind of like, well, here's the thing. You actually can't trust cash. Gold kind of sucks these days. Uh, what, crypto? I mean, sure, if you like riding the roller coaster, baby. <laughs> um, so that's why a lot of wealthy people just put their assets into land, because... And this is this is the way uh, the person explaining it to me uh, <laughs> explained it. They were like, "Well, here's the thing about land. They're not making more of it. I mean, Dubai would have something to say about that, I suppose. But <laughs> in ge in general, most places are. Yeah, in general, they're not making more of it, right? And so I um uh this the the coming back to sort of the reason for having this conversation, we're already looking around the lab, going, "Holy crap, we're going to run a space in this place," and. I had wanted to explore the idea of, I don't know, renting the unit next door or in the long term, you know, because my understanding is there's a long term tenant there now. So I'm kind of sitting here going, OK, maybe if we could scrape together a down payment between now and when that lease expires, maybe we could acquire that. And I was informed that the owner is using it as a land bank and is therefore utterly uninterested in selling it because they aren't looking to profit. They're looking for a safe haven for their money. Yeah. And based on this SVB news, that's not crazy. Yeah. That's just, that's just sound financial planning, apparently, when you just like have $10 million that you don't want to just disappear because there was a bank run. Um, anywho, sorry, I, I went off on a bit of a tangent this, there, but this, this, this is mind-blowing. This also is going to be quite the developing story over the last little while i i just googled companies with cash stuck in svb because we've had a bunch of people mention roku right so we haven't said it on on this part of the show yet but roku has 26 percent of its cash stuck in svb which as far as my understanding wow. goes right now is 487 million dollars I don't know what's more surprising, the fact that <laughs> they have $487 million stuck in SVB or the fact that they have almost $2 billion in cash. Yeah, Roku, really? All. Yeah, crazy. Go um, figure. Roku be balling. They're doing good, like, apparently. In cash. Yeah. Dang. How many people does even work at Roku? Whoa, we'll see moving forward. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't want to joke about that, but... Googling this, uh, the top stories thing on Google, uh, there's a post from two hours ago, there's a post from one hour ago, and there's a post from 10 minutes ago. This is very, very much a currently developing story. There is some cool stuff. There's some yeah. white knights already showing up, even okay. though it's been like literally hours, um, like Vercel, Linear, some other companies. I know this because I'm just creeping Theo T3's Twitter. Um, but these companies are stepping up and saying like, if you are a customer of ours and you're impacted by this, like reach out, we might be able to help you. I don't know who you're calling. Um, there's, there's even like, some of them are talking about, okay, we can, we can suspend like we or delay payments while you figure out your accounting like so, some companies are, are being very cool about it um but yeah this is gonna be this is gonna be quite yikes for a while i don't know what i want to get into cause hey I don't know. uh your money is not in svb is it oh i think i know who this is uh svb uh silicon valley bank it's linus no no i just mean like like you, you like you guys don't keep your money there right silicon valley bank Okay, just checking. You're with Chase. Cool. Oh, yeah, SVB experienced a bank run. They're, like, gone, essentially. Yeah, I guess you haven't been on the internet in the last few hours. Anyway, I'm live on WAN Show. I gotta go. All right, later.
Okay, bye. Cool. Is this that? Um, this is the you this is in? the NAS. Um, yeah, not so. This is the NAS software company that I literally wrote a check to about, like a month ago. What about framework? Um, I don't know. And if I did know, I wouldn't be able to say anything. But this is the one that I was most worried about because these guys are very much in like stealth mode right yeah, now. Yeah. They have yeah. absolute like framework has cash flow. Yeah. They're selling laptops. That helps a lot. That <laughs> you can refill the coffers. That helps a lot. Yeah. See, okay. Uh, actually, you know what? It occurs to me that Linus Media Group would probably be okay you can because we could borrow from Creator Warehouse uh -huh. where we have consistent cash coming in. Linus Media Group, I mean, think about it. Many of our customers are probably impacted. Yep. So, oh, crap. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, I got to talk to accounting. <laughs> oh, balls. Anyway, the point is <laughs> Creator Warehouse. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was that was quite the thing to witness. <laughs> Does any other company need a WAN show producer? I mean, producer. Oh, Dan, how man. dare you apply for another job <laughs> yeah, you got live on this show? <laughs> He's not very professional. I'm not giving him a good reference. Yeah, uh, just make sure you send me the link to your job posting so that I can find out how to apply. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, that's a good reference, by the way. Um, um any, <laughs> anywho, uh, yeah, we would be okay because we have money coming in regularly. Backpacks. Yeah, not in, in, not in like Screw large, us. yeah, not in large chunks from, from like corporate partners but it piecemeal from individual customers, that would mean that Creator Warehouse could lend us money to operate and we would probably stay, um, we'd probably be fine. So, so that was my point, was that if you have regular income, probably you can ride this out a lot more easily. But if, like this NAS software that we, I mean, I have no idea if I'm gonna get anything back from this. They just, they're creating a product that I really want to exist. It's like a simpler, user-friendly and yet still powerful NAS solution for DIY and enthusiasts. Um, and they are completely in like, like noses pressed against the screens, well, getting clearly. it going mode. Clearly. Yeah, clearly. Yeah. Cause it's like, I don't know, seven o'clock where, where he is right now. And, and he, he hasn't received like the biggest tech news and startups in a long time. Yeah. So he's clearly focused. I have a question for you. That's good. That's you. good. Yeah. 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 I have a question for you. Oh, As, <laughs> the amount of pain. <laughs> um, if you are, so you've invested in, in that company, you've invested in framework. Yes. I wouldn't really call you an investor because you invest right now in things that you just like want to exist. I would describe myself as like an activist investor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no. I, I went in, in both cases. Oh, how do I say this without it coming across the wrong way? Not expecting a return. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I went in, in both. If, if there's a return, I'm going to be like, cool. But like we talked about last week, the reality of it is if I really wanted more money, my biggest investment is Linus Media Group Inc., Creator Warehouse Inc., and Floatplane Inc. If I wanted to have like truly f you money that would be the way to do it yeah um i i kind of danced around it last week but it was it was a nine figure offer okay you, for the for the whole okay. shebang i guess you technically some people misunderstood it. which Whoa. is remarkable all right <laughs> anyway the point is it was a nine figure offer if i wanted money i could get money the reason the biggest reason i didn't take the money is that at the end of the day i don't have as i i don't aspire to a yacht yeah. A yacht lifestyle. You'd be so bored. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You would actually hate that trip. I think I, I guarantee I've, I've received photos from him when he's on vacation, like standing on the beach with like the I am so bored here face. He, he's not going to be entertained by a yacht. Uh, I wouldn't sorry. even bother renting a yacht. I don't even need to know. Even if it was free, he'd probably I, be like, I'd rather not. I already know I don't need it. Um, yeah, yeah. So anyway, the point is that a big part of the reason that I didn't take it is that my my life would not be material cha materially changed mm -hmm. by having a giant dragon horde, which is obviously a super privileged position, but it also means that 
I get to just do stuff like this. Yeah. So I get to just say, hey, that's something I really want to exist. I know you guys are super cool. And even if I never get anything out of it, this is great. I will be the most hands-off investor that you have ever had. <laughs> um, like, it's, it's really funny because even internally, people will want to know like what's going on with framework and stuff because it's like interesting <laughs> technology and i'm like <laughs> stuff <laughs> yeah, I, <don't> know. <laughs> okay, here's I, the, read, I read about it in the tech news same as you <laughs> here's the actual question though yes okay. if that wasn't your method of investing yeah if you were investing for profit yeah i mean to be clear i don't mind profit yeah yeah like but if this was if this was what you did if you were a oh, VC, like i'm an investor yes like that's what i do yeah sure so okay. I'm just, I'm putting you in this position. If this happened to one of the companies that you invested in and they're screwed. Do you put in more? Yeah. I mean, it depends if I even have it. What if I bank let's, it? Let's fucking Oh, sorry. I missed the beat, but what if I bank there? Let's assume in this situation that you have the cash. Okay. I bank at Bank of America. That's the only because, bank in, in America I because, can think of. I, I bank at HSBC. I, I don't know. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. Because in this situation... You like sorry, re, I'm a little flustered right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> reinvesting. Let's say you reinvest the same amount. Reinvesting means you just doubled the investment. Yeah. So you're not getting your return. Yeah, right? you haven't. And like, I, I would imagine the paperwork of putting that investment into it means you've you've probably increased their their valuation or whatever. Like, I don't think you can just be say, oh, I will. I need to replace the like money that disappeared. Cause, so it gets Because you already have the shares that presumably you were issued based on that initial investment. The fact that they like pissed it away in a you know bank or whether they whether they pissed it away it or really lost them? it, yeah. yeah, or lost it or whatever. Like the 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 vehicle by which they lost the money because they bought I don't know uh, the three hundred Herman Miller chairs or whatever. Like it doesn't <laughs> matter how they lost it. Yeah. It's gone. That doesn't mean well, you didn't no, get your shares. You've got your shares. So no, if you okay, give yeah. them more money, well, I think they, they would have to. They would, it would have to dilute. They would have to issue more shares, or you would have to find some justification for the valuation to be higher or something, like, or some combination of the two. Right? Like you, you can't have something for nothing. <sighs> so so it would be fucked. Yeah. Because I'm wonder. I'm wondering what's going to happen to certain companies right now. Yeah. Yeah. And like, there's this brutal cycle that we just went through, right? All of, and there's been a bunch of news articles about this earlier this week. Literally, I was reading one of them. There's been this cycle that has happened where a bunch of very good tech employees were laid off recently, right? Yeah. And a lot of the, these like hard hitter, big time tech employees spun up startups in the last like like month month or two and a lot of these startups are like looking really good actually but if they're banking here they might have just lost all of their vc money that they just raised like that so people are talking low interest loans is something you could do i can tell i can tell you from researching it you can't just issue like a one percent interest loan uh, even if you're just super dupey, definitely best friends. Um, the government's going to be like, hold on a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this looks like a gift. Oh, man. There's people on Reddit, apparently. This is in Floatplane chat. People on Reddit posting about how their payroll companies went through SVB, so they weren't getting paychecks. Oh. Like, the fact that this is the bank of of the cradle of, you know, modern internet technology, it means that there's... We can't even predict all the things that are going to go wrong because, because of this. Because one of the weird things is, like I said, I Googled companies with cash stuck in SVB, right? And the main thing that shows up is Roku. I suspect over the next few days, week, month, we're going to hear about a lot more companies that had their, their stuff stuck, right? Wow. Okay. So it sounds like the assets of SVB were specifically seized by the FDIC, by the way. Okay. So government's got it. Okay. Well, um, good luck, everybody. Oh. 
do not really, like really 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 brutal yeah the but... ramifications of this not not only is like the main news cycle going to take quite a while to actually pick up the impact of this but the ramifications of this are going to go on for an extremely long time silicon yeah. valley bank's been around for a while and they've been a big deal in startups for a while this is going to be a massive massive change in how people do business because it's been like a default for a lot of people yeah oh you got vc money time to go to silicon valley bank this is what you do got people saying the government is the reason for this it is not that simple um like a bank run doesn't just happen because the government um I don't know. I don't know a lot of those types. Yeah, of there's a lot of stuff. Like, I don't know how much of this is true, but Floatplane Chat is just exploding right now with yeah. apparently insiders at SVB selling shares in the weeks leading up to this. I mean, obviously they wouldn't they wouldn't figure this out at the last second that they didn't have cash reserves to cover their withdrawals, right? So, man, apparently Roblox has money in SVB. I don't even feel bad for them though. No, oh, offense. they're they're rolling in it. I'm sure they'll be fine. Yeah, I think they'll figure it out. Wow. All right. Okay. Well, um, neat. Uh, good luck, everybody.